Hi, welcome to Pyscore Academy, myself Shaker. Today I am going to explain a basic and very interesting aspects regarding electrical sources. If you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you will never miss a video from Pyscore. By the way, our online video courses are live. You can download our online video courses. For the details, you can check the first link in the description. Now coming to the topic, we all know voltage source and current source are the active elements and they deliver the power. But it is not always true. There are situations where they can consume the power also. Yes, voltage source and current source can consume the power. Which means they act as a passive element. Let me repeat, electrical sources can be passive elements. Let me explain with the help of example. Let me take a source, a simple voltage source I am taking and I am connecting a resistance over here. Okay, and this is circuit. Okay, circuit number one. Now, in this case, 5 volt and 5 ohm resistance is there. Now, current 1 ampere is going this way, 1 ampere is going this way, and this is positive plate and negative plate. What is meant by active element? Active element positive from the positive plate, current will leave. From the positive plate, current will leave. So, current is leaving from the positive plate, yes, right? So, this is active element. This is now acting as active element, okay? This 5 volt source is acting as an active element, fine, okay? Let me change the circuit now. Let me add another source over here of 15 volt plus and minus. Now, tell me, current direction is this direction. 10 amperes, sorry, 2 ampere, current value is 2 ampere. Again, if you want, what is this, all these things, you can take the courses, online courses are there, you can take the course, you will get complete idea with the animations, with uh, live examples, so I have given the course, I have designed the course, you can check the link in the description, so that you will get a good idea about, you know, complete networks, everything, okay. Uh, this is 2 amperes is the current. Now, current is entering into this positive terminal. So same 5 volts which was earlier acting as active source now will act as a passive source, passive element, it's now passive element. This 5 volt is now consuming the power, earlier it was delivering the power, now it is consuming the power, okay. So you cannot say voltage sources always deliver the power, it can also take the power. Similarly current source also, you know, you can take another example of current source. Let me take a current source like this, okay, and we have a resistance over here. This is 5 ampere, 5 ohm resistance is there. Now, uh, current in this is 5 ampere, so this voltage is 25 volt. So, current leaving at positive terminal, current leaving at positive terminal, this is a current direction, leaving at positive terminal, this, this is acting as a this is acting as a active source now. This current source is now active source, active element, active element. Now what if I have an extra element over here, now let me change these numbers because circuit change, so numbers will change, okay, direction also may change. Let me take uh, like this, yeah, this is also 5 volt. This is circuit now. Now tell me, the current in this is 1 ampere. I am not getting into the details of the circuit, debugging the circuit and tell me, tell me, explaining you how this is 1 ampere and all. I am not going to give you all the details. My focus is on a simple aspect. This can act as a passive source also. That's what I am trying to give you. Now, uh, this is 5 ampere. This is uh, 1 ampere. So in this 6 ampere current will flow. This is a positive plate and negative plate. From this positive plate, current is leaving. So this is now active element. This is acting as active element. That's fine. Okay. My point is not about voltage source. My point is about current source. This is negative. This is positive. This voltage now is a 5 volts. This is now 5 volts. Okay. So from the negative terminal, current is leaving. Means from the positive terminal, current is entering. Current is entering at positive terminal, leaving at negative terminal means it is not act active, it is passive. It is acting as a passive element. Okay. So 
the conclusion don't conclude that voltage sources only act as active elements they also act as passive elements that depends on the circuit configuration okay but the point is why we generalize voltage source as active element the definition it can give average power greater than zero it can give average power greater than zero current source also it can give average power greater than zero whatever the element which can give average power greater than zero that is called as active element so if we have something like this current direction is given like this some element is there inside okay whether it is acting as active element or passive element how do you know current direction is this this is positive this is mi minus negative means current is entering at a positive terminal so this element is a passive element okay if direction is like this but the polarity is voltage polarity is like this means at positive current is leaving current is leaving at a positive terminal so it is an active element okay this is also another way of uh, you know uh, saying what is whether it is active element or passive element of course this is not a generalized one this is one of the way i'm saying okay that's it so if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from y square and check the first link so that you will get a complete uh, courses complete well designed courses just for 1000 rupees you will get the full length course thank you see you in the next lecture